Hey guys, it's always Help Hero. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple today released new betas for iOS 16.6, and most importantly, they also released security patches for those of you running iOS 16.5.1. The first rapid security response is now available. So, in today's video, I want to talk about why it is so important to update if you're running official software and what to expect with iOS 16.6 in terms of release dates and new features. So, let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Okay, so first, let's talk about the beta software software and then we'll get to some of the iOS security responses here. Now the first thing is iOS 16.6 developer beta 5 has just been released. Now iOS 16.6 has been in beta for quite some time. We'll talk about the expected release date here in just a few seconds, but I want to mention that iPadOS 16.6 beta 5 is available for the iPad. macOS 13.5 beta 5 is available for the Mac. watchOS 9.6 beta 5 is available for the Apple Watch. And tvOS 16.6 beta 5 is available for the Apple TV. Now this software came in at approximately 400 to 500 megabytes. That's always going to depend on the beta that you're updating from and now if we go into settings here we head on over into general and go into the about section here we take a look at the bill number there it is the iOS 16.6 beta 5 bill number is 20g 5070a now you see the letter a towards the end of that bill number that usually means that iOS 16.6 could soon be released to the general public. Now, my best guess for iOS 16.6 official release will most likely be next week on the week of July the 17th. We'll most likely see the RC or the release candidate here in the next couple of days and then an official release before the end of the month of July. Now, this software 16.6 actually brings a very important feature that I've been waiting on and it is important for those of you that do not have an iPhone that supports iOS 17 like the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone on a plus this new software will bring what's called the iMessage contact key verification now this feature will allow to prevent eavesdropping so if someone is using let's say your friend's apple id to send you a message from a different device your iphone can warn you that that person is logged into a different device and therefore you can prevent any eavesdropping from happening in iMessage and i'm super excited for this feature now i want to shift my attention over to what i believe is a little more important release today as well ios 6 16.5.1 rapid security response is now available. Now, I recommend everyone to update their iPhones right now. The way you update to the latest security response is, of course, going over into settings, going into general, going into software updates, and you should see iOS 16.5.1 security response available. Now, if you see the letter A there with the latest software update, it means your iPhone has automatically updated to the latest iOS security response. If you don't see the letter A right there then that means you have the update yet and you need to update to the latest secure response now this is available for ipads as well so if we go into the about security content of rapid security responses for ios 16.5.1 and ipad os 16.5.1 you see that apple has patched a webkit exploit there that was being used so it is important for you to patch this sooner rather than later. Now this update is also available or this uh, WebKit issue has also been patched in macOS Ventura 13.4.1. So you can go into your Mac settings and also update to the latest security response. Now these devices should be able to do this automatically, but if you wanna go ahead and check, it is probably a good idea to make sure you have it installed the sooner rather than later. Now, I want to shift my attention before I end this video to iOS 17 public beta. We haven't seen in the public beta just yet. Apple will most likely be releasing iOS 17 public beta 1 here in the next couple of days. So make sure to stay tuned again, guys. New betas released today for iOS 16.6 beta 5, which will most likely be available the official final release for 16.6 towards the end of the month of July. And of course, most importantly, the rapid secure response for iOS 16.5.1. And there you guys have it. Just wanted to share those details with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.